Are you guys ready for day 131? Let's go! What's up guys? I am Michael McEnany and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. All right, guys, here we are, day 131, right back at the uh, Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. We're about to uh, cross the road over here and uh, head up into the Wildcats. Uh, it's supposed to be a nice day today, although in the morning, the uh, the mountains are still covered. Let me show you. So you got the, the clouds moving through there, but it should clear up here nicely. All right, it's time to get this day started and start putting some miles in. Gonna try to get. Uh, I think there's a campsite about 19 miles from here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna try to do that. We're gonna hit a lot of 4,000 footers this morning. Uh, we're gonna or today. We got the the Wildcats, the Carters. Um, uh, but once we get up to the ridge line, we should be up there for a while. Uh, a lot of climbs and scrambles today, but we'll figure it out as we go. All right, here we go. All right, started our vertical climb again this morning. Literally going straight up again. Oh, climbing hand over foot with the rocks uh, right there. See Phoenix coming up behind me. How, how straight down the trail is. Oh goodness, all right, here we go. We made it up about halfway up the first set of scrambles um, so uh, beautiful little view right here we got more work to do because uh, we're going way up there as you can see that looks like it's gonna be a lot of climbing and scrambling so yeah all right back to work guys it's about nine o'clock we've gone two and a half miles so it's taken us two hours to go two and a half miles 
with all the rock scrambles and climbing and, and everything we've been doing. Um, we're about half a mile from Wildcat D, um, which is the first of the Wildcats, and then we're about two and a half miles from Wildcat Mountain. So, um, but you got to keep just slowly chipping away at it, and hopefully uh, we'll make up some more miles at the end of the day. made it to Wildcat D. Um, there's the uh, ski lift. So let's go take a look and see if we got some views over here. Beautiful. Four thousand sixty two. Look at that view. Very cool. All right, it says don't go up on there so we won't. All right, time to keep climbing. We have an observation tower up at the top of this one. Once you leave the ski lift, walk back into the woods, you got this little viewing platform. I mean, it's, a view. it's the same view. Maybe they have it up here just for the solar panel, I don't know. Alright guys, we got us a nice little view here. Now look down there. There's a... Like a... Hmm. I don't know what those are. I think it's a part of the hut system. There's a lake down there and three different buildings. Very cool. All right, so that last view was Wildcat Mountain. That was it. Um, so now we're heading back down. We're not heading all the way back down because we got to uh, bounce a whole bunch of peaks here. So now we're going to hit the, uh, the Carters, I think, is what's next. So, like, Carters, uh, you got... Middle Carter and then North Carter. So we're gonna, it's a little bit steep right here, so I need to put this camera away and we're gonna work our way in that direction. You know, when I was just shooting that video of the lake, I was like, man, this would be a really nice spot to have lunch. And, I come around the corner and there's this big flat rock right here. So guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna stare at the amazing beauty that this lake is up here in the middle of the mountains. And I'm gonna have lunch and I'm not in a hurry today. So I'm just 
just gonna enjoy this beauty. It's absolutely amazing. Alright, we're gonna take a little visit to Carter Notch Hut. This is the last and the most northern and the most remote hut in the White Mountains. So it's only like point one off the trail and it's uh, the path goes between these two little ponds, these little lakes. I just sat at that lake and, and ate my lunch and then there's another little another little lake right here. So I'm interested to see what this hut looks like. Um, so since it's the last one, might as well go check it out. It's only point one off the trail and uh, let's, let's go see. All right, here we are. It seems like a very small and intimate hut. We're gonna check it out. Hello. What's up, guys? Oh, another another Calvin and Hobbes book. Oh. All right, we're making the climb up out of the Carter Hut shelter there, and it's just straight back up again. Just straight back up again. Hand over foot. Uh, you gotta reach up, grab something, pull yourself up, and the next step. And you get a few steps that maybe you can step on, and then it's grab a tree or grab a rock edge or whatever you can and get yourself up these mountains. <sighs> this is a this is a rougher uh, hike than I thought it was going to be today. I'm going to be hiking for a while. Um, that Carter hut has she had some leftovers so we had some turkey and we had some mashed potatoes along with the lunch I ate at the lake. So, lots of extra calories. And I found out something a little bit late. <laughs> the uh, the card that I've, I had to purchase for camping at the uh, the one tent site that had the platform allows me to get free baked goods at all the huts. Well, guess what? That's the last hut. <laughs> if I'd have known that, I'd have been using that thing. But um, But yeah, that's fine. But she had some peanut butter and chocolate treats. They were delicious. So I got some extra calories now, which I'm gonna need, because today's gonna be a long one. All right, Leo, over. A little while ago when I was looking down into the valley and I saw those three buildings with the uh, the green roofs, that was the hut. Um, I didn't know that it was like three separate buildings because that one's one of the, well, it is the oldest remaining hut on the uh, the AT. So it has the original like dining room kitchen, then it has a separate bunkhouse, and then it has a separate like a bath bathroom. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely was the hut now because I can see it from here and, uh, and it was down by the lakes. So very cool. We saw that from over on that side of the ridge. We originally saw that from over on that side of the ridge up there standing on those rocks. So I believe that is a, that's a, one of the wildcats. That's the, the that is the wildcat mountain over there um, where we, we were able to step out and see it. So yeah, beautiful.
we have reached the first of the 4,000 foot Carter Peaks. This one's called Carter Dome. Um, not much of a view from this one. So we're gonna keep on moving and uh, make it to the next few, the next few Carter Peaks. Hopefully we stay up on the ridge line <laughs> and we don't have to go down and up, down and up, but we'll see. All right, here we go. All right, now I got us a view from Carter Dome. I found me a little side trail that looks out on the side of the mountain here. Check this out. the top of Mount Height, H-I-G-H-T. Um, it's gonna have a 360 degree view up here. You see the Presidentials, you can see the Mahusiks, uh, you can see most of the Carter stretch. It's gonna be a little bit windy as we get up here, but you'll just put up with the wind worth it for the views. guys it is three o'clock in the afternoon I'm gonna be honest with you oh I am not feeling it today I just I just don't feel like just feel abused or beat up knees hurt just not be able to step out and go very fast um, there's a lot of climbs this morning don't get me wrong slow that slow, definitely slows you down but not feeling it in general today so we got the imp campsite coming up in a little over four and a half miles um i don't think i want to stay there i think i want to push i still want to get to the rattling river uh shelter campsite which is 19 miles on the day um i might just be walking till eight o'clock tonight i don't know i just feel exhausted the whites have abused me they have abused me uh, I just want to stay on a good miles per day average you know yesterday we stopped short and waited out the weather in the afternoon so that we could do the Wildcats without thunderstorms because otherwise we would have been doing all that climbing that we did this morning in wet and rainy conditions which would have made it worse. So, but well, we're gonna keep on pushing. That's what we'll do. All right, we are standing now on the peak of South Carter Mountain. Not much of a, a view up here, because it's covered by trees, but yeah. Um, yeah, but we are at the peak of it, so. This is the top. All right, we've gotta keep on pushing. It's uh, going on four o'clock and we're still nowhere near where we're gonna stop at tonight. So, here we go. All right, we are standing at the summit now of Middle Carter. 
I don't understand this 4,000 mile or this 4,000 footer list because South Carter and Middle Carter have zero views and height had a 360 degree view. It's a higher mountain and it's not on the list. So let me show you the summit here of Middle Carter. That's it right there marked by these rocks. We're standing at the summit. <laughs> That's why I think it's ridiculous. All right, moving on. All right, here's the views at Middle Carter. This isn't the summit, but here's where the views are. You can see there's Mount Washington, like straight across from us over there um, in that direction. <coughs> and I think you got Adams and all those uh, mountains going across there. Man, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see what we got behind us. Just views for days, guys. Beautiful. There's a little path over here. Walk the path to the edge of the cliff. All right, it's almost five o'clock. Um, I don't think we're gonna make it to that rattling river or shelter or whatever we wanted to. Um, it's just getting too late. The imp shelter is in about two and a half miles, so I think we're just gonna make it to that one and call it a night. I'll just have to make up those miles uh, on a different day. I mean, they're a little easier and I can pick up some extras. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we have completed the Carter. All the Carters. This is North Carter that I'm standing on the peak of right now. It is beautiful. But we are done with the Carter range now. Completely finished. about a mile from the imp shelter it is the last uh, shelter that you have to pay for here in the whites and it's been slow going because we're climbing down stuff like this all day where I'm having to grab onto things and kind of set myself down gently uh, just like straight down and sometimes to add a uh, an additional layer of difficulty it'll be up there I am um, it'll add a like a water feature to it so you'll be going down a hill like this and there'll be you'll be walking in a waterfall with uh, wet rocks and algae all over them and so now you're walking straight down on wet rocks and on top of that I have to navigate a dog um, safely down all these things maneuver um, you know safe for me and for him I want to make sure he's comes down safe but also you know make sure that he doesn't pull me down anything so yeah all right we're gonna make this last little mile trek into the shelter it's gonna be almost six o'clock when we get there it's been a long day not very many miles but um we'll get out of these whites tomorrow all right
here to the imp shelter. Looks like I'm going to have the shelter all to myself. Um, I'm getting my stuff set up over here in the corner. And um, I'm going to eat. I'm going to dive in there and I'm going to go to sleep. Um, I'm pretty beat. And I need to get some recovery. So we're going to call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>